The Titans were in familiar territory as they hosted the NCAA baseball tournament in Fullerton. The fans gathered outside Goodwin Field early to tailgate. It was a joyous atmosphere, seeing as how the winner of the weekend series would go on to Omaha for the College World Series. Some fans came a little too late, as tickets quickly sold out. So why is Titan baseball so popular? It's the best deal in town. If you go to Angel Stadium, you better take your checkbook. Out here, you can get kids in for two or three bucks. They got great concessions. They've got a beautiful ballpark. Goodwin Field has transformed into a beautiful place to play ball. The smell of kettle corn and hot dogs pierces the air like a home run launched into the sky. Titan playoff merchandise was a hot ticket as well. The Titans lined up on the field as it was finally time to play playoff baseball. This was head coach Dave Serrano's first time coaching Fullerton in the regionals. The Fullerton Titans are right back where they belong, here at Goodwin Field for the NCAA Regionals. Last year, former head coach George Horton took them all the way to the College World Series. Now, new head coach Dave Serrano hopes to bring them back to the promised land in Omaha. Fullerton scored early with a squeeze by Joe Scott cashing in Gary Brown. Titan starter Gabe Kaplan made sure to keep his team in the game. Hardcore Titans fans tried to rally their team all the way from the outfield wall, but the mighty Titans fell. Even Titans fan Kevin Costner couldn't produce a field of dreams for Fullerton. Well, that was a tough loss. Uh, we battled back, uh, came up a little short, uh, just like I got done telling the team. Um, in these kind of atmospheres, when you get down to the final 16 teams, everybody's going to be good, and it's the little things you got to do, and I don't think... Uh, we put the ball in play enough on the ground. If one thing is for certain, it's that the Titans will be back in the playoffs next year. Their fans won't have it any other way. This has been Jonathan Camus reporting.